All right, welcome everyone. This is gonna be a quick demonstration of a man in the middle attack on an ethernet network, specifically using our custom device, Etherweasel. And for this demonstration, we're gonna demonstrate a DNS cache poisoning attack. So kind of before we get started, let's just take a quick look at the intranet I have configured. So it's clear kind of how the networking is configured. So I have Alice here. Alice is just a standard laptop with no special configuration. Alice gets its, I its IP address from DHCP from our router. The only special thing about the router is that it's configured with Bob as the, D the DNS server and it's gonna pass that back to Alice over DHCP. Then we have Etherweasel. I'm gonna talk about this in a second. And finally we have Bob. So I only have one Raspberry Pi for the purposes of this demo, which means that Bob has to fulfill all of the roles that we would, all of the other devices we would need on our network. So this includes a DNS server, which is bind, and that maps wikipedia.test to 10.0.0.3 with a very short TTL. This is important in a second. There is also a web server which hosts that wikipedia.test website. And finally, there's a malicious phishing page hosted in another web server. This would probably be in a different device in the real world, but for simplicity, it is on the same physical device here. Finally, we have Etherweasel. Notice it's placed in between the router and Bob. And what I've done here is I've stripped away the outer ethernet coating. I've spread out the conductors, and then I've punched them down into these blocks. I have then cut the cable here. And I didn't, I didn't show this process because it takes two or three minutes. And so for simplicity here, and I only have one hand, it's already done for you. But basically what this allows me to do is in passive mode, which is the current state, the relays connect the wires directly together, which means signals can just flow straight through. But in active mode, I can redirect the data into the computer inside this box, make some changes before putting the data back on the wire. So let's see that in action. Uh, let's come over to Alice here. Just make sure that our network is configured correctly. So I'm gonna go visit wikipedia.test and we expect our Wikipedia page to load, which it does. That's perfect. Let's come over to our Etherweasel UI then. And so you can see I'm connected to 192.168.1.1 over Wi-Fi, and I can configure an attack. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target the fully qualified domain name, wikipedia.test, as we saw before. My target IP address is gonna be 10.0.0.4. This is the IP address of the malicious phishing server. And I'm gonna set a really long time to live. This means that I should successfully poison Alice's cache and the attack should persist after I disconnect Etherweasel from the network. Okay, so with that in mind, let's create the attack. And you'll notice it just says queued, nothing is happening yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna flip the active mode switch. This is gonna reconfigure the relays and start to redirect network traffic into Etherweasel. So let's do that. And you can see that the attack now says in progress, but we still don't see anything in the logs. So let's change that. We're gonna come over to our Alice computer here and I'm gonna reload the page. And just like that, you can see that wikipedia.test now resolves to 10.0.0.4 and we find our malicious phishing website. And so if we want to confirm that this is indeed what happened, let's go back to the Etherweasel UI and look back at the log section. And you can clearly see that we received a DNS query from Alice to Bob and it was for wikipedia.test. And we did in fact modify the uh, IPv4 address from 10.0.0.3 to 10.0.0.4, and we drastically increased the time to live, which is exactly what we desired. Finally then, let's, uh, let's kind of disconnect Etherweasel because it is running on batteries, so it won't last forever. So let's put Etherweasel back into the passive mode. Just by doing that, so Etherweasel is no longer involved in the network, it's now properly disconnected, the batteries could have died at this point. But interestingly, if I come over here, we will notice that the attack actually lives on. And it lives on because Alice's DNS cache is now poisoned and will be for the next 30,000 seconds. Thank you for watching and have a good one.